All right, our next bout coming up, amateur MMA catchway bout at 140, presented by Complete Fighter. It'll be a couple of debuts. Zach Craig out of Tryon, Georgia, taking on Charlie Durham out of Ottawa, Tennessee. We got a lot more action tonight. Our main event tonight of Valor Fights 28. It's Julio Gallegos taking on Sid Wheeler. We've got terrific pro and amateur MMA bouts still to come. But just a quick thought, Zach Craig versus Charlie Durham. Uh, two know, guys. We yeah, have two. two beginners, man, again, coming out here on Halloween night. You know, instead of going trick-or-treating, they're going to throw down, <laughs> man. They're going to fight, and they're going to do it for the first time ever. I love it. I love to see two debuts, and, again, you, you get to see them uh, a, a trial by fire. That's the werewolf, yeah. Casey Oxendine, yeah. the sailor man. Vince Ferrara. I've already said it before, brother. I'm not wearing a costume. I took a couple of days, didn't bother to shower, and this is the way <laughs> I look. Slide over, would you? All right, let's go back to the cage. Here's Jennifer Oxendine. All right, our next fight is a catch weight at 140 pounds, brought to you by Complete Fighter. First, please welcome to the cage, Zach Craig. First out, Zach Craig out of Triangle Gym in Tryon, Georgia. 5'10", a 19-year-old. Been training for a year. Uh, don't know a ton about him, he's, uh, other than the fact that he's uh, started training for his job as a correctional officer at Hayes State uh, Prison, and uh, then eventually started training at Triangle Gym. A 19-year-old getting a amateur MMA bout here tonight against Charlie Durham. You know, you got a lot of guys that, that in this business that also work late nights in the clubs uh, all over the United States. You know, they're bouncers and security staff. And, uh, but you know, and, and that's a tough business, you know? I mean, you, a lot of bad things can happen. But, but when you're talking about a prison guard, it's even, it takes it up a notch even more because these are criminals, man. You got to keep these guys in line. So. He's setting a great example. If you look outside of combat sports world and you say, hey, man, this is a guy who's, you know, who's preparing himself to do the job that, that he's employed to do, that's very smart. So we know he comes in here, he fights, and whether he wins or whether he loses, he goes back to his job a tougher individual, and it makes it safer on him and his family. Boy, at 19 years old, too. That's uh, that's some kind of job at the age of 19. Yeah. A lot of us were messing around at theme parks and uh, yeah. things like that at 19. Absolutely, man. So he'll be uh, opposed by Charlie Durham, who got into the sport with his brother, Colton Durham, has a boxing background. And Craig is in the cage. Back to Jennifer Oxendine. And his opponent, please put your hands together for Charlie Durham. Charlie Durham, independent fighter, making his debut as well, as is Craig. From Ottawa, Tennessee, right down the road. 5'9", 31-year-old. And uh, seems to be pretty well-rounded from what we've heard, but 31 years old. Very, very different than the background of Zach Craig. Yeah. And we'll take a look at the tail of the tape. You see both of them making their debut, but Charlie Durham, 12 years older than Zach Craig. Height very close with Craig, one inch taller, and then the weight difference is certainly there. Yeah, he's got some weight on him. Um, you know, the, the 31 years of age, a lot of people say, you know, he's 31, he's a little older. Uh, this, uh, you know, today's 31 is, is, you know, is a lot younger 31. I think that the athletes that get in there and, and uh, can compete, you can compete well into your 40s if you're in great shape and if you're conditioned well and you don't take too many headshots. I think it's gonna be a well-matched fight here. He says he uh, expects to be ready, and he thinks that uh, he hopes to impose his hard training and style of fighting uh, onto uh, or his brother onto Zach Craig in this bout. So it's Charlie Durham out of Ulua taking on Zach Craig out of Tryon, Georgia. Our main event tonight will feature Julio Gallegos taking on Sidney Wheeler. Our co-main event is terrific as well. All right, back to the cage, Jennifer Oxendine. This bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. First, out of the hog's red corner, he's making his MMA debut, weighed in at 142 pounds, and is representing Triangle Gym in Tryon, Georgia, Zach Craig. And his opponent out of the OEB blue corner, making his MMA debut, 
He weighed in at 149 pounds and is an independent fighter out of Ottawa, Tennessee. Charlie Durham. Your referee for this fight, Jimmy Neely. Jimmy Neely, our referee for bout number four, presented by Complete Fighter. A catchway bout at 140. It's Zach Craig in the black and red trunks taking on Charlie Durham in the black and, and white trunks, both making their debuts as uh, some extra instructions for uh, by Jimmy Neely to these two fighters here tonight. It's three three-minute rounds, catchway bout at 140. We're underway. No touch of gloves, uh -huh. first punch. And uh, Durham. of course, you see Durham there. He is the southpaw. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, the right-handed fighter. You've got um, Zach Craig is the southpaw competitor here. A couple of uppercuts from Durham. Craig already ate a shot to the right eye. But now Zach Craig back in the orthodox position. Wow! Wow! <laughs> the exchange from those two. Wide stance from Craig. How about that? Yeah. Oh, uppercut connected by Durham. Yeah, Durham, uh, he seems to be handling himself a little bit more uh, firmly here. Maybe the old man strength kicking in. Oh. oh, that's a big shot. Craig already goes down. Face red from the shots he's taken from Durham. Now, this is what I'm talking about, the difference between, uh, you know, a kickboxing rules fight, you know, to, to make your debut as a kickboxer or a mixed martial arts, because when you take these shots, these punches, they really hurt. These small gloves, no headgear. Um, you know, if you, when you, you start your career in mixed martial arts, it's, it's truly a, a trial by fire here. And there comes the triangle choke uh, on the part of, uh, of Charlie Durham here. And, uh, wow. and great posture by Zach Craig. Yeah, well done to get out of that. It looked like Durham was in route with that arm through to get that triangle. And there's an uppercut oh, that's a shot. Dur Durham has thrown that uppercut pretty frequently so yeah. far. Yeah, Durham looks to be in control this entire bout, actually. You know, he, uh, the time he spent on his back, he was working a triangle choke. And then on the feet, he's landed big shots just like that overhand right there. But Craig really showing the effects of the, those shots he's taken to the face. Now both of these guys are debuts, so I'm sure you're gonna. You wouldn't call it ring rust. It's a, you know, it's a. I would call it beginner's rust. Uh, you know, it, it typically that the adrenaline drops, and, and you see it uh, uh, make a dramatic change in the in the fight as, as it proceeds. So I'm anxious to see how both uh, men adjust. That was a beautiful placement on that kick there by yeah, Charlie Durham. I, I think it was a little bit of a feint with the with the punch. Oh, that's a big kicked. right hand there by Zach Craig. Now Craig's on top. Of course, he's got to watch out because last time he ended up in a. Triangle choke momentarily. Needs to keep that posture. Look at the right leg there of, of Charlie Durham kind of hung up there. Wow. I don't know if that was intentional or what. And he's trying to pass and almost side control there for Craig. And he here we go, looking to full mount, you know. Yep. I'm not a huge fan of full mount in mixed martial arts. And any, any time without the gi, I think it's a little harder to hold it. I, I think if you have a good spot where you can put the Saturday night, Saturday night ride on and, and wail down, I think it's good. But I'm, I'm a crossbody guy myself. And unless you have devastating elbows, perhaps, and, and yeah. the mount, ground Well, account. you know, you just have a lot of, you know, it's easy to bridge you off when you're in the mount. You just got to have a really, really heavy top position. Stony Hale is one of those guys, though, that you get underneath his mount, buddy, you know it. That's uh, the end of round number one. So you would stick to, to Durham in that first round, yeah. Jason? Yeah, I think so. Well, um, it was a nice close. Yeah, there yeah for nice close there, you know, by Zach Craig. And, you know, he ended up with the Saturday Night Ride, you know, in the, in full mount. So yeah, I, I may I may tend to go with Zach Craig. It's the last thing you saw was, was him in mount position controlling. Now, is, is this uh, Judge Casey Oxendine, or is this Casey trying to guess what the judges are This is guess? Werewolf Casey Oxendine. <laughs> just, he's bloodthirsty. He's ready for more. All right, let's take a look at the replay. Take us through this. All right, here is uh, the after the first takedown here, looking for that triangle choke. Zach Craig wisely posturing up and escaping there and uh, landing a few more shots. Like I said, the striking went to Charlie Durham. The closing moments, though, went to Zach Craig. I may... Give it to Zach Craig. Maybe, maybe he stole it. All right. Nonetheless, that was close in that first round. We'll see when we if we go to the judge's scorecard. Jimmy Ely restarts us. We're underway. Round number two. Oh, oh. big shot there. Stiff right. By Zach Craig. These guys are throwing for the fences again. Durham really ate that right. Wow. 
started that exchange. They must have told Zach Craig something because oh. he came out with a ton of steam behind those punches. He's already rocked Charlie Durham twice in this in the opening moments of the second round, looking for the guillotine choke here. This could be it. It's Bending over. Wow. 19-year-old Zach Craig with the win whatever in the second that, round. Whatever that corner said, it <laughs> meant something because he walks out with his hand raised tonight. Unbelievable. The aggression, the accuracy of those punches, too. Yeah, yeah big shots there. You know what? Like I said, you know, uh, here we go. There's the guillotine choke, and I mean, it was elementary from that point. But the shots really set that up, right? Absolutely, yeah. man. I think that he just he got a he came out with a ton of steam. I don't know that Charlie Dorham was expecting that. And I wasn't expecting it, man. Not out of a, a couple of debuts, he he actually started kind of slow and finishes strong. The youngster showing some versatility there. Showed the defense in the first round, and then the the punching uh, in uh, in that first round, and then obviously the great uh, strikes in that second round set up the standing guillotine, and Zach Craig will win in his debut. All right, back to the cage. Our official decision announcement here is Jennifer Oxendine. Your referee stops this fight at 29 seconds into the second round for your winner due to guillotine submission, Zach Craig.